Good morning to everyone. This is Joanna, and this morning I want to share with you a grocery store haul I got. I know I normally don't show like things I got from Schnook specifically, but I just wanted to today because I ran out to get a few items before I go buy some real groceries. Um, and I'm kind of starving right now, so if you hear some noise, please disregard that. I wanted to look for some more of this. You guys recall I hauled this last year. It did come out at Christmas time with a peppermint one, and I tried this eggnog in one thinking it would taste like eggnog. It kind of didn't except for the first sip, but I loved it so much that I bought a lot of them and discovered this was my last box. So I did go looking for it today. Of course, it's not out, but if it comes out in different packaging or whatever, I'm going to be looking for it. But I also wanted to mention Wisty Sky recommended some coffee to me that I went and I think I got today. I think she said that you like the gold one. If you did, I went and got that one today. So thank you for that recommendation. But I'm just going to share with you some items that I got. Some of it is refrigerated and some of it is not. So I'm just going to share a little bit of everything here. If you don't like meat, there's pork chops and sausage here. But I got this and I'm just going to pull the bag out. Out of curiosity, I um, was at our Great American Cookie and during one summer they had little quips up on a board that if you could answer a question, you got a free cookie. And one of them was a toy that was banned in the United States. And I couldn't think of what it was and I looked on my phone. I didn't participate in that, but I looked on my phone out of curiosity and it said a Kinder Joy egg. And to my knowledge, what little bit I knew was they were chocolate eggs that had a surprise inside, but kids were eating them and getting choked and they banned them in the U.S. I don't know when. I don't know the full story behind it, but I got this out of curiosity because I think they've changed them now so that the kids know there's a toy and parents get them. So I just got this out of curiosity. This little thing was $1.49. The next thing I got was I did find a tea that I like, and I'm going to go back and get some more. It snowed here really, really bad today, and it rained. It never has sense enough to do one or the other here. It has to snow and rain, and then later tonight, all that will turn into ice, and then it snows or rains on top of that. That's the kind of weather that we get, so it's dangerous to be walking. <laughs> but I hauled this maybe a few years back. I really love this. This is like a cinnamony, red-hot type tasting tea. I'm very happy to see that it's in the same box. It says brimming with cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, and cloves. And you can really taste all that in here. These are caffeine-free. I don't usually go for caffeine-free tea on purpose. But I do realize that when I buy this brand, um, it's usually caffeine-free. But I do love this tea nonetheless. This is a favorite. It is a staple as long as I can keep it. The next thing that I got here was some broccoli. Now, I like to pick my own broccoli, but I was in a hurry. And like I said, the way that they rebuilt the schnooks here, I wish they'd have just left it like it was. I do realize that stores have to expand. As far as what they're carrying extra that they didn't carry before, I don't see it. So, of course, from my perspective, I don't understand the business move. But the way that store is set up, everything you want is clear across the store from something else. Used to be I could go in schnooks, you'd hit the vegetable flower section first you go over around to like where the medicine was then you'd hit the creamer the dairy section this broccoli was clean across from where I had to go at to get what I wanted to eat with it and so I got this little one because this is just for me I felt like tonight I wanted to make some of my fried pork chops and broccoli and the kicker is I'm going to make it with cheese I usually never make broccoli with cheese however when I first tried broccoli, I was about 14. Someone had it, didn't like it. It was in a TV dinner form and it was covered with cheese, but I actually liked it. I did not grow up having broccoli um, or Brussels sprouts um, on our dinner. You've always heard me say the one that raised me was an older adult. Um, I think she, she got me when I was a baby. Um, I always knew who my mother was. It wasn't an adopted thing or anything like that. But back then, the laws weren't like they are today. You could leave a baby with a neighbor and give the neighbor the birth certificate. You know what I'm saying? And that neighbor could enroll that child in school. That child was considered theirs. Um, so there was no formal thing, but she raised me. But all the vegetables that we had were grown in the garden. Potatoes, corn, cabbage, okra, which I did not eat. Um, I think greens. But I guess because she never grew broccoli or Brussels sprouts, I never had those. And I never realized that until I was older. Well, for some reason now, now that I'm an adult, I make my broccoli with butter. That's how my children like it. My daughter does like the um, edamame. Is that whatever the raw broccoli is with the dip? I'm not sure if my son does, but he prefers his broccoli with butter. So when I take him to a restaurant where it's steamed, I have problems with him. But 
I did tell him that I did have it with cheese, but because they're used to me making it with butter, if he were here, I would have to make the broccoli like I normally do and then pour the cheese on it. But I don't know why, basically, I'm saying all this just to say, I just felt like putting cheese on my broccoli <laughs> um, for dinner. And I got these. These are like my favorite little English muffins. And the reason I'm starving is I had to wait before going to the store this morning. And I have been craving these and the maple sausage, which I have, I'll show you. And that's what this is about. It was about going to the store and looking for things, getting the recommended coffee and just picking up some things that I wanted. Um, so I'm gonna pause this and put this up and then I'll be right back. Don't know why we bother saying that because you can't really tell, huh? So the next items I will show that have to specifically be refrigerated is, I don't know why, but here where I live, and it's probably in other stores as well, things like pork chops and bacon and sausage all go up in price between Thanksgiving and Christmas. The eggs are super duper high, whereas other ingredients like your pumpkin that you want to make your pumpkin pie with, your cream cheese, um... Even cookie mixes, those things can often be found for 99 cents. But the things that matter, like your milk and your eggs and certain other additives in the meats, all skyrocket. And after all, let's face it, you need eggs to cook just about everything. But these pork chops were $4.65 and I got three. And I found out I don't like thick pork chops. I mean, I do if they're stuffed, but for the most part, I like a regular pork chop I don't like them super thin but I don't like them thick unless they're grilled at a restaurant so all the pork chops that I was looking at were seven dollars and something for three or four and these were four dollars and 65 cents so I just went ahead and got these the next item that I got and I'm going to show you my refrigerator stuff so I can go ahead and put it up is this little teriyaki bowl thing here these are very good in a pinch um, I don't really take anything to work with me. I usually just get something to eat there because sometimes, depending on what's going on, it can turn my stomach. Um, you've already heard my story on that. But I do keep these at home. These are nice in a pinch when you just want something really, really quick or we're coming in and going back out, you know, to shop and maybe we don't want to eat out. So I got this one in the chicken teriyaki bowl. Now, this one I have not had before. This one right here you've seen a time or two and I really do love this one. It's really, really good. And then the next thing I got, of course, is my maple sausage. Now, if you happen to like turkey sausage, this comes in turkey form. I think their sausage comes in a little bit of everything. But so far, I have seen regular and turkey. Um, I haven't paid enough attention to know if these are the same ones. I just look for regular sausage and maple. But these little things are really good. And I have to say, when I first bought them, I was, you know, kind of taken back. I knew that I love maple bacon, which I first bought by accident. And I thought, maple sausage? I don't know. You know, this is making me want to try a spicy one if they have one. These little things are really good. However, they are expensive. Um, and all you get in here is eight of them. And I usually make two. So if you've got men in the house or, you know what I mean, your sons, your men in the house, your husbands, you're going to need several of these because men eat sausage. Like my son will eat three of these, um, maybe even four, depending on what's going on, because guys have appetites. But these are very, very good. My next refrigerated item is my Italian sweet cream. Generally, I love flavored creamers and I do not hate them. But the reason you see this one so much and the vanilla one so much is when I try flavored coffees, I like to get creamers that will, you know, blend in with all of them. So no matter what coffee I have, be it caramel, peppermint, chocolate, you know what I'm saying? This cream and the vanilla cream will go with that no matter what it is. However, my preferences, I love that one. I love the Cheesecake Factory one, Italian, what is it, Italian? I got to make sure I say this right, Irish cream. Irish cream is the one that I love along with this one. These are all my favorite creamers. When they made vanilla nut, which they don't know more, vanilla, this one, um, creme brulee, Irish cream, and the Cheesecake Factory one, those are all my favorites, but I only have a couple that I can go ahead and put in any coffee. Hands down, this would not be a grocery store haul if I didn't feature some cherry coke in here somewhere and I was completely out. Also, my tea follows, but I didn't get to get any today because this was just a quick little bus run. So, let's see, what else did I get? Because I know I got a few more other things and I haven't showed you the coffees. So, 
I did go ahead and get some more Crisco. I use my Crisco for everything. I also need some peanut oil, the planter's peanut oil. I like that on my salad. Sometimes when I just want a little, I used to take actually wedges of lettuce and dip them in the peanut oil because peanut oil tasted good. And one of my friends thought, oh my God, that's so disgusting. You're eating oil. And I gave her a piece and said, taste it. And then she got hooked on it too. I don't do that with any other oil, but since I'm going to be cooking, um, usually like holiday time, I get six or seven of these and some shortening because used to be at Christmas time, I cook all month in December. You know, now that my kids are older, I don't have company coming to the house. That has settled down a little bit, but used to be this time right here after Thanksgiving, I was cooking and baking up a storm. And then I got this creamer. The reason I got this creamer, and this is vanilla caramel, is I actually wanted vanilla. The creamers here, this size, are almost $5 now. Today they were on sale for $3.99, which explains why there was no vanilla in the store. Even the fat-free, sugar-free, which I don't deal with, even that was sold out in vanilla. But the reason why I wanted to get a powder is I was out of creamer for the last two days, and I didn't realize it. And although I do like my coffee black, I don't like it black all the time. I'm someone that that first cup that I drink to wake up in the mornings is generally black. And after that, the rest of it has creamer in it. So I about had a fit. I had nothing to put in my coffee, not even um, milk. So I made sure to get this. And this is like my backup for when I run out of creamer. Like say that I run out of the liquid creamer that I got right now, but I'm able to go buy some more. This will stay closed. This is my backup for when I absolutely run into the same situation that I ran into yesterday where I can't go get more and I have no more because the powder creamers, they last a good bit of time. So... The next items that I got... And also... The reason I'm not using my camera for this particular video is because my phone uploads quicker. Usually when I come in and I'm sharing something with y'all and y'all get it right away, it's uploaded from my phone. I have to find someone's tutorial on my camera. You guys have already heard this story. I have to look on YouTube. There's this one man that I follow because I can't remember the steps without watching the video. And this camera does something dumb. And then I have to wait for the Wi-Fi and the upload and all that. So it's just quicker to do it like this. So I did get this tea. I probably have had this before. This is Bigelow, and it's probably just a different name, but the word Sweet Dreams and the way that it looks got me. I just love this. So I do like to keep these kinds of teas around, um, and I want to find some more. One of my favorite high-end expensive teas is that Vanilla Swiss Almond by the Tea Republic. They were the ones I could never think of their name. They were in the can with the pods. That Swiss Almond Vanilla is hands down my favorite of expensive teas. Um, I also got another one of these, and this is the Pumpkin Spice Latte, because these are good to have in a pinch, too, when you don't really want coffee. These, to me, fall below coffee, but just above hot chocolate. They're right in the middle for me. Um, and a friend of mine was putting those in her coffee as a creamer. I tried that and wasn't too crazy about it. I got Caramel Drizzle. What I miss from Folgers is Lively Colombian. There are certain coffees that wake me up and perk me up no matter what. The Folgers Lively Colombian is one, and the Millstone Fog Lifter is another. And I don't find either one of those coffees in ground or cured form. I am looking to see if they still make them because that Fog Lifter by Millstone that was out years ago, I couldn't stand their Kiwana blend. Because it was Hawaii, I was expecting it to be sweet. It tasted like liquid tobacco. And I mean literally. It tasted like liquid. Like you took some cigarettes and put them in hot water and tried to make a brew with it. But the Lively Colombian and the Fog Lifter are great for wake-up coffees. Without those two, I don't have one. Now, you heard me mention the Dunkin' Donuts. They had some kind of a peppermint coffee that I missed out on when I was at Target. And when I saw this peppermint mocha by Starbucks, I went ahead and got it. I don't know anything about this to know if it's any good. I think I may have hauled maybe one, maybe, maybe two, but I can only think of one ground Starbucks coffee. And I think I might have had some in Keurig form. I do not know. So this is my first flavored coffee from them and we'll see how it goes. And I think the very last thing is the coffee that Miss Whiskey Sky told me about. And I hope I got the right one. Black gold. So I want to try this. I'm going to actually make this this morning. Will I? Yeah, I will. 
because I was going to make this. I'm going to make this one. It don't really matter. They're pods. I can make either one. But I'm going to try this one. But I think that was it for my grocery store haul. And I just wanted to share that with you. And I can actually title this video Schnooks uh, because I actually went to the grocery store and nowhere else. So until the next time, everyone have a great day. Happy, safe holidays. And please be safe if you got this crazy weather in your area. I saw a few photos on Instagram and I even put one up. But our weather here is nuts. It can never just do one thing. It's got to do a mix of everything. And that makes it dangerous for pedestrians and drivers. So everybody, please be as safe as you can. And until the next time.